how to use Linktree free version. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with the free version of Linktree. So let's get into it. Now, what is Linktree and why do you even need to use it? Well, Linktree is a simple platform that allows you to integrate all of your links into one place. So let's say if you're a social media influencer, then you have multiple social media accounts. You have things you're promoting, you have your own website, you have so many different social media platforms and you can't put all of those links separately onto your website or onto your Instagram, onto your Twitter. So for the ease of your audience, it's better if you create a Linktree account and then all of your links will be displayed into one simple link and then you can use the Linktree link on all of your social media platforms and then people can open up that Linktree link and then access whatever specific link or social media platform that they are looking for. So for this, all you're going to do is you're going to click on sign up for free on the top right over here and uh, the link Linktree URL is, is actually uh, linktr.ee. So it's not linktree.com. It's actually uh, linktr.ee. And then you're just going to click on sign up for free on the top right. And then once you click on sign up for free, this is going to ask you the username you want to use for your uh, Linktree account. So let's say we are going to use Jane Doe. And then uh, it's going to check the availability. Uh, so I'm going to add the great Jane Doe. Now this is available, so I'm just using this as my username. You're going to enter whatever you want. Then you're going to enter the email that you want to be using for your Linktree account. So I'm just going to enter the email and then you're just going to enter a valid password for your Linktree account. Now, after that, you're going to agree to their terms of service and then you're just going to click on sign up for free. And the best part about Linktree is that it is free forever. They have a free version uh, till the end of time, so you don't have to pay for their basic services. Now, after that, and you're going to enter a name for your Linktree account. So I'm just going to use Jane Doe and then you're going to click on continue. We're going to use what we're going to be adding our creative category or why we are actually using Linktree. And we're just going to continue with the free version. Click on sign up for free. And then we're going to click on continue to my Linktree. And now you can see this is going to be your Linktree dashboard. So this is the Linktree account that I currently have. Our profile is not verified yet. So to verify our profile, we will just open up our Gmail account. And then I'm just going to verify my email address with Linktree. So I'm just verifying my email address and now I'm just going to sign in to my account. And now this is my account currently. It's totally empty right now. Now to get started, this is the preview on the right side. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add new link. I can click on title. This could be Instagram. And then I'm just going to paste my URL. So whatever is my Instagram URL, I can paste that over here. And I'm just going to click on copy over here. And I'm just going to click on paste. You're going to add your own Instagram URL. I'm just adding Instagram's domain name. I'm not going to add my own personal Instagram, but you can just add your own personal Instagram. Uh, the one that you're going to be linking to your account. If it's a business, if it's your personal one, you can add whatever you want. Then you can also add your uh, schedule on this as well. So you can schedule when a certain and link goes live that is only a premium feature you have locking links as well uh, so if you can lock the date of birth so you can also set a minimum age requirement to visit certain links so if you're running any kind of explicit content and let's say if there's curse words or anything any any kind of explicit content you can set a minimum date of birth that people need to have to be able to enter certain links so uh, if you have only fans or anything like that you can add that you can also add uh, sensitive content warning and then you can also add your nft contract addresses then you also have your analytics that are only available on the premium version and then you also have prioritize as well which you can only add on the premium version and then you have a thumbnail you can click on set thumbnail so you can upload from your own computer you can upload your own kind of thumbnail that you want to use for your linktree account or you can link a url a url image or you can also click on thumbnail click on set thumbnail and choose from the icon so you can search for any kind of icon basic instagram icons um Facebook icons, Twitter icons, all of them are present on Linktree. And then you can also have a, a redirection on Linktree's premium version, but on the basic version, you're just going to have a simple link and links present within. Then you can also click on explore over here. So once you click on explore, this is going to lead you to some of the popular platforms that are linked using Linktree. So let's say you want to link your e-commerce store, so you can click on that and this will automatically add the basic thumbnail. And then you can just add your URL as well. And I'm just going to to delete that because I don't need that. I'm going to click on explore. I can click on Twitter over here. I'm just going to add Twitter 
And then I'm just going to add my Twitter link. So I'm just going to open up Twitter over here. And then I'm going to go on to my Twitter account. So we're just going to go on to our Twitter account and then you can click on copy and then you can go back on to Linktree and then you're just going to paste your URL. So you can choose to display a tweet on Linktree as well, whatever is your most recent tweet. Um, you can link off a person's latest tweet as well, but I'm just going to link the simple Twitter account. Now after that, you can click on explore once more and then you can add more things like your PayPal information, like your PayPal account. You can also... Uh, add your social media, your NFT platform, uh, your Spotify account, your Shopify store, your Twitch account, any of the social media platforms, your YouTube account, Menmo, uh, anything else of that sort as well. Once you have added all of that, you're just going to click on appearance on your top left over here. And once you click on appearance, uh, you, uh, you can have your profile title, so which is Jane Doe the Great. And you can change that as well if you want. So I can add the Great Jane Doe. And then I'm going to add a bio. So so whatever is your catch like if, you, if you're a social media personnel then you have like a catchphrase or anything people know you by you can add that on your bio and then you can click on pick an image and you can upload your own image over here i would suggest you upload your own image or you can even design with canva and use a canva image i'm just going to quickly use a simple canva illustration i'm just going to take a simple canva illustration like on this one and then you're just going to click on publish. You can even use your own image on Canva. So I'm just going to use this. And now my profile picture will be updated. I usually do recommend that you add like a super nice picture over here because it's going to be present on all of your social media accounts. So it's very, very important. This looks nice. Now, after that, you have your themes and these are all, like most of these are locked. But if you scroll down, you have different themes available even on the free version. So you can pick out any of these uh, free themes available. There are quite a few options to, for you to choose from. And I'm just going to use this one over here. And below that, you can also uh, customize the appearance yourself yourself but i'm just going to continue with the theme and then you also have the look of your button so if you want squared button with shadows or not so you can add that over here as well but i'm going to continue with the basic theme then you also have fonts you have font color options and if you scroll down you're just going to click on get set up this is our link tree for now so after that you have settings and then you're just going to click on settings and in your settings you have any of the custom features that you want to add so anything from your support banners you can add a support banner as well you can add like whatever kind of support uh, you are doing if you're doing any kind of activism you can add that as well then you also have mailing list integrations uh, available on linktree's premium version and seo and other stuff but that is usually all for the uh, premium version and just like that i have set up my linktree so if i open up my linktree this is what it's currently looking like it's super simple it's super nice and this opens up my twitter this will open up my instagram and i am ready with linktree so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video